This is a biggie. Hi everyone, my name's Fern Lullum. I am your motivational speaker and coach, and together I want us to take a closer look at life and love. Have you ever wanted to try something new, a new activity? Maybe you wanted to get fit, maybe you wanted to eat healthier, maybe you wanted to start down a new career path or just journey in your life. So what is the first thing that we all do in these scenarios? We get obsessed. This is common very, very much in the new year. You write a heck ton of lists, lists all over your house paper, there's pens, there's new stationery everywhere, new notebooks, fresh start, and this is gonna be your time. Then you buy all the equipment in the shop and online. You, you just absolutely become engrossed in this singular topic, this one focus of yours. I'm gonna get all the cooking equipment because I want to bake cakes. I'm gonna get absolutely every appliance in the cookery aisle, culinary shows, I'm gonna watch them all, I'm gonna type in the internet every single appliance and every single little gadget that I can possibly think of, things that I can't even pronounce, things that I don't even know what they do. Fitness, I'm gonna buy the whole outfit. I'm gonna take out five gym memberships to different gyms. I'm gonna get a gym playlist because that will help me to get motivated and to get in the zone. I'm gonna take up a new hobby. I'm gonna buy all of the ski equipment. I'm gonna get the jacket, the hat, the goggles, the skis. I don't know about skiing, but there's probably loads more equipment that you would get if you were into skiing. We've all done this. We've all become a little bit cray cray over one thing that we've got into our minds. We often find ourselves in this situation then being out of pocket, being out of energy, <laughs> out of inspiration, and being pretty down on ourselves. Because we all know how it goes. Six months down the line, you look at that equipment. You maybe used it once, half of it's probably still in the packaging, but most of it is just piled up in a corner, wasting space and cluttering up your house. Your brain is cluttered with all of these things that you were going to do, but heck, you never got round to it, something always came up, or there was some excuse, or there was something better to do. You should have done this. You committed to it. You got everything. There was no reason that you had not to do it. Everything was there for you. You know, maybe you wanted to start YouTube. You bought all the cameras, and the lighting, and the microphones, and you researched it until your eyes were almost bleeding, looking at a computer screen. You did it top to tail, you did it thoroughly, but guess what? It never happened, it never came to be. Quick tip everyone, resist the urge to do this. I know the urge to do this because I have done it myself. We just get carried away, don't we? Retail therapy takes over, it's exciting to get like a matching set of everything. Just surround ourselves by whatever we've chosen to take up. Because we think that if we do that, we will create this bubble of motivation to actually do it. However, our minds don't really work like that. Because when we go to that extreme, we've literally gone from naught to a million in the space of a day or a week at most. We can't make ourselves do these things. It's like when we're addicted to something and we try and go off it cold turkey. It's too extreme, it's too much. We can't handle that. Instead, what I would encourage you to do is make yourself take it slowly. And why I emphasize make yourself so much is because it's not an intuitive thing to do. It's the same when you start learning a new skill, you know, like maybe you start learning the guitar or learning how to play a sport and you really, your brain wants you to just learn it like that because everyone else who's really good at it, the experts, they, they just make it look so easy. And why is it so hard? We want to know straight away. We don't want to put in the time. But what I'm saying to you is if you take it slowly and you let yourself put in the time, you start very small 
and you see if it actually is going to progress before you allow yourself to get too invested, both financially and mentally. You will actually see if it's worth it and if you do stick to it. You will open up more possibilities for other things. You won't be just tunnel visioned into this one idea that you had and became your dream overnight. This is what I've always wanted to do. No, you hadn't even talked about it until last week. And now just because you have the equipment, it's your lifelong goal. Let's be realistic about this and reward yourself. So if it's fitness, just say to yourself, I'm going to start off really small. I'm just going to go for a walk around the block. Let's say you do that three times a week. Okay. Then you reward yourself. Maybe you buy yourself a sports top or a water bottle and you keep building it up. So every time you reach your next target, your next goal, you reward yourself with something that helps you get more invested in this. So it's not all or nothing, or to put it more frankly, it's not nothing to everything all at once. We break it down into little chunks and we allow ourselves to get slowly more and more into this thing. And when we do that, you'll find that because you've started small, your motivation level will go up because you want to reach that next target. You want to get that piece of kit. And when you do get it and you've been waiting for it, you will appreciate it more and you're more likely to actually put it to good use. We live in a world right now where it's very much instant gratification. And that's why our brains work this way. We want it now. We don't want to wait for it. But that's equally why we end up wasting hundreds of pounds, dollars, money, whatever, whatever your currency is. We waste all the money. We waste loads of time trawling and researching things that we never do. We never stick to. And we're beating ourselves up for not doing things that we didn't even really invest that much in psychologically anyway. It was just a whim. It was an impulse. And we went with it and we spent all our money on it. Let's be a little bit easier on ourselves. Let's build ourselves up. Let's motivate ourselves block by block. Think of it as like building a little tower. Top of the tower is the goal. It's where you want to get to. And the more that you have to look at it and reach for it and you only get the reward when you get to the next step, I guarantee you the more you will want it. The longer we wait, the more we want. Remember it that way. Just affirmation that to yourself every day. Take it slow and it will be the reverse of what you have already experienced. Gradual gain, gradual growth, building motivation and sticking to the things that you want to create success in your life. It's a goer. Give it a try. Let me know how you get on. Give this video a like if you like this idea and tell me what is it that you've done this with in the past? What do you have a whole lot of equipment waiting for you to use collecting dust that you haven't even looked at? Maybe you don't even know how it works or what it is. And also on the flip side of that, tell me what motivates you. How do you get yourself to consistently stick to something time and time again? It's a really tough concept, but it's something that I think if we attack it from a more logical point of view, patient point of view, we will be able to get there and get more of what we actually want in our lives. If you enjoy conversations like this and you'd like to have more success and you want to take a closer look at life and love with me and the rest of the family, please click that subscribe button so that you don't miss a thing. For now, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself and enjoy your day as though it were a great habit which you've consistently stuck to all year round from the very first day you started. Oh, the satisfaction. I will be back with you before you know it, but until then, see ya. Hi everyone, my name, <laughs> maybe you wanted to find the man, maybe you, maybe you wanted that, oh God.
Please say the battery didn't run out. Bye! No, no, that's no. Don't do that one.